I have to admit, I've spoken to a lot of people in a lot of different rooms. I've done a lot of camera time. But this day, this moment right now is personal for me. I had an idea, I had a dream, and I said to myself, what if we had a whole day just to develop? Today, you're going to hear from 15, 16 different speakers who are going to bring it. They're speaking directly to you as a man, as a woman, as a parent. Everybody out there, we are leaders. Close your eyes for a second and access your favorite soul music. Where does that feeling reside in you? We need to access soul level leadership. Leadership is about serving. It's about helping people achieve their vision even more than they can do on their own. It's about togetherness. For many years, my purpose in a career was uh, to basically just get promoted and get to the top job. And over the last couple of years, it became clear that it was, what's my why? I think it's one of the most important sort of gifts or traits or actions that as leaders we have to do every day. And that is say thank you. And I'll tell you what I tell my kids every single day of their life. Change your mindset, change your life. Authentic leaders are awake, they know their triggers, they know their worries, they know their anxieties, and they're able to navigate that. When we show our team how much we care, it will come back to us over and over again. Curiosity can be your superpower. So rather than saying, how was your day, say, I'm curious. Quit going the same way to the same destination. The beauty is in the journey. The destination is simply the beginning of the next journey. Empathy is one of those things where when you start documenting a ton of stories like I do, the thing about empathy is you get to learn all about other people. It's important we need to own our stories. But to own our stories, we need to do a couple things. One of which is we need to understand them. We need to recognize them. We need to come to terms with them. And part of that requires a sense of self. And then March 2020 happened. And what I had sacrificed for and what I had poured in for two and a half years came crashing down in three days and I had no idea when the bleeding was going to stop. I really urge you to be selfish about your day to day. This day is given to you to really pause and reflect and think about how you think differently. Potential is the actualization of possibility. That is not based on a good or a bad outcome. It is the potential of actualization based on what we put into where it is that we want to go in our lives. If you wanted to be a better leader based on what you've heard today, what one or two things are you going to implement and why? The concept of changing your mindset, thinking in a more positive light, a lot more things can happen. We have to make sure that we're responsible for what we have committed to. But there's certain times where we're going to need to focus more on our personal life. And if we have the flexibility to do that, then we're going to make that happen. Anytime you experience any negative emotion, please stop. You really have a choice, a choice to detach from the program that is causing you so much pain. To the younger folks, the first thing I want every one of those people to know is that you're not alone. When you ask for help, people inherently want to help you. Thank you, Jeff, for all you guys did.